There are a few people here in New England that are well known for developing hockey players and Rob Barletta is one of them. From his learn to play, to his skills camps, to the academy, to the Walpole Express Hockey Club, no matter what the skill level, you can find it here at RB Hockey. I'm Joel Idelson and this is New England Hockey Journal. Like most ice rinks, you usually can find a hockey game or practice going on at Rodman Arena in Walpole. But here you'll find a whole lot more as it's the home of RB Hockey and the Walpole Express. Owned and run by Rob Barletta, who's been developing hockey players for over 20 years. Some half -speed drills. I was working summer camps when I first started and then became a director and started writing drills. And that summer took over a, a Sunday morning, got 30 kids. And then by the next summer, I had two week long camps and it just grew from there. Try to keep them away from the middle of the ice. Arby Hockey has grown over the years, but has remained a family-run business, and Rob is involved daily in all aspects. Get a D in the middle. Goalie, grab your net. With the camps, I was in all over Massachusetts. I was doing like three different rinks a week, and I didn't like that. I couldn't control the coaching, the quality, the, the enthusiasm. So every one of my camps now, when you go to Arby Hockey, you see Arby. I meet with the coaches a half hour before, and we discuss our drills. We discuss the younger coaches, where they're going to stand, how they're going to act. I'm here at every one of the camps that I have. And so is Jake, the family boxer, who's there to greet everyone who comes into Rodman Arena. He's eight years old, and he's been here since he's been eight weeks old. He's a good family dog, and that's what we have. We have a family atmosphere here at the rink, and he, he's a perfect fit. If you can get to that net, go right to it. Don't let him get set up. Take as much ice as you can. I think what makes RB Hockey unique is the, the hands-on experience from ownership. You get a guy like Rob Barletta who's always on the ice. You know, he does a good job of making sure everyone's energetic, everyone stays fresh. For him, the focus is about the kids. It's about how we can make each individual kid better. I've never met a guy who loves his job more than he does. Every time he's on the ice with every single kid, he has the biggest smile and he just brings so much passion and energy and it's really admiring. And he makes all the coaches around him want to do the exact same and be better. Go. I think it's a complete package. We have a staff that is compassionate about the sport and compassionate about each other. And I think you put those two things together. There aren't many better staffs out there, certainly in New England, if not the country, as a complete package. There's other programs that are out there doing the same thing, but I think we do it at a pretty rapid rate. Control on your stick. Three sixties on the blue line. Crossing those feet behind the net. We have 50 kids signed up on Sunday for Learn to Skate. And those kids go right from Learn to Skate to Learn to Play Hockey. And then they play in our Might team. And then from Might to Squirt, Squirt to Pee Wee, and so on. So we have the top, top coaches around. You'll see John Lounsbury, who's our top skill coach. And you'll see myself, and you'll see Danielle and Todd working with the four-year-olds on Sunday morning and then going out and working with college players on Monday afternoon. No one has an ego here. No one here is saying, I just want to work with the older kids. I just want to work with the elite. You know what, let's make these kids the elite players. If they're not going to be elite players, and they want to work hard and they want to be here, let's work with any player that wants to come here that's serious about hockey and that just wants to get better. Let's get three lines in the goal line. RB Hockey is now a year-round business with 70 employees. But if you ask Rob Barletta what his favorite thing is about the business, he'll tell you it's what it all began with the hockey camps, and working with the younger kids. Pop over the blue lines. That's my funnest time. I love it. You gotta have fun with them, but you can teach them and they're like sponges. The youngest kids pick it up so quickly. Get those feet up. Just to watch the kids now starting to cross over and skate backwards and stop on the, the other foot. Like every week it's more development. It's just awesome. One foot all the way across, push. All the way across. As a kid, I was a pretty poor skater, and like through development with RB, they tremendously like made me like, like a, a really strong skater, and I, I can't thank them enough. That's a great job. Sick, sick. And this is what I tell my coaches. You know, you got to pretend like you're coming to this camp. If you show up in a bad mood, if you don't want to tie a skate, that's not a good coach. It's not just a factory. It's family atmosphere. I am a parent, and I use many of the parenting skills that we try to uphold at home with these kids. I always talk about being an extension of their own parents, but the main factor is, is trying to make them better, trying to make them understand, and trying to get them to understand what to expect as they get older in the game of hockey. Ooh, hey! Rob is RB Hockey, so when you come to RB Hockey Camp, Rob's on the ice. I think that's what makes it so special, is to have the actual guy who started it all on the ice with you. A lot of the organizations 
they don't come to every camp. They don't skate with the five-year-olds. They want to be on the pictures and smile for the cameras and come to one out of every 50 of their camps. I've only missed two skill sessions this entire year. Tonight I'll be on the ice all night with the kids. I'll skate all tomorrow night. I'll jump on the ice with Danielle at the academy. I'll jump on the ice with John. I try to be around everything, but I don't think there's any better coaching staff and philosophy because we all want to just develop the kids and work with them. Move now, quick, 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 quick. For us, it's not about wins and losses and, and all this stuff. It's about how we can make our might a better sport, sport a better peewee, uh, how we make our junior player a better college player. So I want to delay. I literally want to get the puck in the middle of the ice. Two hands, two feet. Head up, both feet. There are obviously peaks and valleys to this youth industry we work in, but seeing kids succeed, getting better, and seeing parents happy with their children's progress are the main factors that you know we really look at in the RB hockey. Try to get this foot all the way over. Get it all the way over. Good. Any parent that comes to me after the first day, they could say, Rob, we didn't like the camp. We didn't think we get enough out of it. We give them their money back right off the bat. Thank you, that's all we needed to know. And in four years, we've given back one player's money. We treat kids as individuals. I try to do a small student to coach ratio, but the whole thing is developing the kid on the ice and off the ice. For more information on the various programs at RB Hockey, you can find everything at rbhockey.com.